We've just arrived at William Kentridge's residence in Houghton Drive. So there's a young Afrikaans girl who, over a period of 18 months, through all the various depots and legal processes, has changed her name to William Kentridge. My advice is to her and to everyone else still is, I've been there, done that, it's not a good idea. I really want to get across the message of your mixed media. So okay. I wanted to use yep. that yep. as a workstation. I want to use the pencils with the yep. pencil sharpener yep. and the work yep. that you're doing at the moment. Okay. We're going to try and shoot the whole thing on a long exposure. Okay. With the flash okay. at the end. That's nice. Okay. He gets it. Once we'd engaged him in our concept, he started to share with us his experiences that related to how we could achieve what we wanted to achieve. He showed us how he had painted horses with light and captured that on film. Being in William Kentridge's workspace was amazing. You're surrounded by creativity and it was a great space to work. I think it's, it's a tricky thing whenever you're shooting a long exposure because you cannot be absolutely certain that you can control your subject. But I didn't get it, now you're standing here, now exactly. you used to get there in one second. Okay, well let's try it. Can't, you, you can't. Oh. If you scoot the camera like this, it's going to put the video camera shadow. Yeah, but I'm going to scoot it from this side. Okay. Everything's perfect, but you need to maybe be like... You know, to be honest with you, we need less light. light. We need less light on the ghost, in my opinion. Can, can, is there any way we can make okay. the frame wider? I chose the portrait to impress with the Thank you for having me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> So going into the Kentridge shoot, I had a precise idea of what I wanted, but I certainly didn't have the plan of how we we're going to get that. So it's just going to be a little bit of yeah. trial and error, I mathematically on our hands. I understand, yeah. that's fine. Stop, you're out of frame. No subject of a portrait likes the portrait of himself. It's like hearing yourself speak on a tape recorder. So the most that one hopes is that one escapes without embarrassment. Other people who've seen the portrait really like it. All I think is, God, look at the double chin and why didn't I stand up straighter? Technically, I'm extremely impressed with how simply and well the single exposure with three flashes worked. To see that finished photo for me was a huge relief. There was a sense of achievement for me and for the entire team. And I think William was just as relieved as we were. Um, over the moon with the shot, ecstatically happy with it.